What's up, y'all? Today we are talking about how to really be an example of following Christ. How to truly be an example of following Christ, y'all. And as y'all know, before we get started, just a reminder that the memberships are coming, y'all. The memberships are coming, and the membership is going to be called the Kingdom Academy. Basically, it's a disciple membership. You want to continuously grow in your relationship with God. Not just read your Bible, but literally read your Bible, stay connected with God, and apply it to your life. Become more Christ-like, then this is definitely the membership for you. So go ahead and sign up for the wait list in the description box. And also remember, I got the 100 kingdom relationship questions that will keep you from marrying a counterfeit ebook. All right. I also got the mini ebook, which is a sample of that book. If you want to check that out and definitely check out the 100 questions, I got that link down in the description box as well. Remember the merch coming, Imperfect Christian. If you want to check that out, go look at my, go look at some of my old videos. You can see some of the merch. It's coming soon, y'all. It's coming soon. And remember, if you want to have conversations with me, I have the Kingdom Conversations where we can talk one-on-one -on -one about whatever you're going through, whatever your struggles are in your relationship with God, with people, with literally trying to follow God, with abstaining, with whatever it is, with co-parenting, with being a godly person, with any struggle. Even if you're struggling with somebody who is narcissistic, I am certified in that area as well, y'all. We can go ahead and talk about that. And I can show you how to definitely keep God first in that situation. Plus, I went through it. But anyway, y'all, let's get back to it. How to really be an example of following Christ. Now, I know some of y'all probably get mad at my videos because it's like, why you always got to do this and make us do this? And, and it's so hard. I know, I know, I know this walk is not easy, y'all. You literally got to be a soldier in Christ. Notice I said key word is soldier. You're a soldier. That means you're ready for battle, ready for war with the enemy at all times. And that's what it means to follow Christ, y'all. So I want people to understand when it comes to being a true follower, a real follower, an example of a real follower of Christ, you have to be an example. What does that mean? That means I have to show Christ in my life. What does that mean? It does not mean I just go to church. Me just going to church does not exhibit, does not reveal that I am a true follower of Christ. Me just reading my Bible does not reveal that I am a true follower of Christ. Me going to Bible study does not mean that. But me living this lifestyle does. Me literally walking like Christ and listening to what he tells me to do in my life does that is a true follower so what does that mean an example I, I, this is going to be hard this means as examples of followers of christ y'all we have to remember that we have to be the first one to do it yep that's right remember the world is evil the world is in darkness jesus had to be the first to deny himself to sacrifice himself for us he literally took the blame. Who going to take the blame? Okay, both of y'all arguing and all of that. Who going to stop and take the blame no matter they, no matter if they didn't do anything wrong? Jesus. Who's going to say, I apologize, even if he doesn't believe that he did anything wrong, but you felt like he wronged you. He took the blame. He did it first. Who's, gonna, who's going to forgive first? Jesus. Who's going to want to take the high road first? Jesus. Who's going to want to tell somebody no when they want to do something that's not Christ-like first? Jesus. So what are we to be examples of? Jesus. So that means we take the high road, y'all. That means we have to be the first to do these things in conversations, in situations, in relationships, in our families, y'all. Even when it comes to co-parenting, when it comes to strangers, when we're around strangers, remember, we are the example of Christ, right? So we are a picture of Christ when we walk this world, when we walk around. We show a reflection, an imitation of Christ because the spirit is inside of us. So if Christ did it, then he's, his spirit is inside of us. So if he did it, the spirit that was inside of him is, is now inside of us. So that means we do what he did. But his spirit is helping us do it. 
You understand? So we got to remember that we must be the first ones because the world is evil and dark. The world cannot see. So imagine being in a relationship with someone who cannot understand and they cannot see. Their mind is in darkness. They can't see. And what I mean by darkness, that doesn't just mean sin. That doesn't just mean evil. That means they are unaware. Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He was revealing to us that they can't see. They can't hear. They can't understand. God, when you look in the Bible, God talks about people who can't hear, right? When you look in the Old Testament, when you look in Proverbs, he talks about certain things where he's like, let, they, let those who can see, see. Let those who cannot hear, hear, right? He notices there's a difference between those who follow him. They can see. They can hear. But those who don't follow him, they cannot see. They cannot hear. So because we can hear and we can see, that means we must reveal what God has shown us and has done for us. So, yes, that means we have to be the first to hold our tongues. Yes, that means we have to be the first that don't get revenge. Yes, that means we have to be the first that is not petty. Yes, that means we have to be the first to exhibit not being defensive and offended. Yes, that means we have to forgive others first. Yes, that means we have to apologize first. Yes, that means we must take the blame first at times, y'all. We are the example of who he is. So we show him inside of us and through us to the world. We have to be the first to die to ourselves. Now, I explained this some, uh, in one of my videos or a couple of my videos before, right? But I made an example of, you know, we with somebody or we have a family member. Let's just say we got a family member or we in a relationship. You could do either one. And this person, it could be a parent, and they consistently keep treating us away and we don't feel loved by them. We feel like they treat us so badly and we just want them to respect us and to listen to us and to hear what we're saying and to, to understand what they're doing to us. We're literally fighting for them to love and respect us. Right. But here's the thing. That person doesn't truly follow God. No matter if they go to church, this is what I want you all to understand. It's the spirit inside of us. But let's just say that person doesn't even really go to church, though. That person doesn't even go to God. They're not that close to God, but you are. So, you know what we're doing in this instance? We're literally asking someone who does not know God like that. To give us love that actually comes from God. And remember, God opens our eyes and our ears so that we can see and recognize, so that we can love others. We're asking this person who doesn't know where to get love from to give us love. But we're the ones that consistently go to God. That means we are the ones that actually have the love of God inside of us. But we're consistently fighting for this person to give us love, which actually comes from God. Could it be that they don't know where to get it from? They don't know how? They read their, You might say, well, they read their Bible. But that don't mean nothing. The religious law leaders read their Bible. Did they know Jesus when he was in front of them? The Pharisees read their Bible. Did they see who Jesus was and recognize him when they was in front of him? No, they crucified him. They killed him. They sent him to prison. So we can't just think, oh, just because they say they're Christian. Well, they said that they knew God. They would even say that to Jesus. They would say that they know God and Jesus would say, no, you follow Moses. You, you do what Moses said do. He's talking about just the law because Moses had the law. Or, he say, or he'll say to some others that, no, your father, you don't know my father because if you knew the father, you would know me. But you don't know me, so you don't know the father. And some people, he said, your father is the devil. He's the king of lies. So, but they was trying to act and believe and show that they knew who God was, but to know God would be to know Jesus. So he knew that they didn't know. You understand? So just because somebody go to church or whatever, whatever, that don't mean nothing. The spirit has to be in. And if the spirit is in you, then his spirit is revealed. That means that person is able to do these things. That means they can hear and understand more because the spirit is truly in them. The spirit helps you. You got a helper that the world doesn't have. That's what the spirit is. He helps you. He gives you more understanding, more realization, 
right? He, he, he allows you to see way more than a person could see on their own. He helps you. So you have somebody boosting you up to see more and to do more. So if they don't have that, they can't do it. But you have that. So in this moment, guess who got to be the first to be understanding? We got to be the first to say they don't know. They not really there. I could clearly see they not there because they're not willing. They're not convicted. They, they don't want to take accountability. They don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to look in the mirror. They don't want to communicate. They're fighting themselves. They're fighting everything. And it's a lot of trauma that's probably more than likely it's a lot of trauma that's causing these issues. They may seem like they're close to God, but again, we're talking about somebody who's not, but we're going to also think about those who are, or we think they might be. We're going to include both, right? But again, we have to be the example. To be the example of Christ is to understand this person doesn't know God like that. And I can tell. Or this person doesn't know God. But I'm crying and getting mad because they treat me this way. Why would I get mad at somebody who doesn't understand how to do this? Well, you say, well, they love, well, their parents in their life and, and, and their parents love. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. You understand? That does not mean that they truly know how to love. That just shows that they don't got issues with their parents. That's, that's all that show. But can you see the spirit? And again, to be the example is to now exhibit Christ to that person who does not understand so you got to be the first to, to hold your tongue. Don't fight them back. You got to be the first to be kind. You got to be the first to be pleasant. You got to be the first to be gentle. The, the first to be understanding, to be kind, to be loving. You got to be the first to tell the truth, no matter what they do. You got to be faithful even when they not faithful. And I, again, this is not specific to a relationship because this could be a friend this could be a family member. This could be a parent. This can be a co-parent. You still are supposed to choose God even when others are not choosing God. That's how you are the example or else you are not exhibiting Christ if you're choosing to be the opposite. If you're choosing to allow your emotion to take control and now I treat you this way because you treat me that way. If you over here saying nonsense like that, like, no, you did it, so I did it. That's not Christ-like, and you are not exhibiting Christ. You are not being an example of Christ. And I'm going to tell you the truth. You are being worldly. That is worldly. I don't care how you feel. You do not see Christ doing anything to you because he did, because you did it to him. So that is not Christ-like. That is the enemy. The devil does things like that. So again... We follow Christ. To be an example of Christ means we take on the hard stuff, y'all. That means, just imagine a war and soldiers at war. We on the front line. That means we in the front. When it comes to love, we are the first. God is love, so when we don't exhibit love, if Jesus is love, and we are the example of him, then we are the example of love. So if they don't love, then we show love. I'm not telling you to stay in something. What I'm trying to tell you is, it don't matter what you in, it don't matter what you go through, we are the example and we do not choose when to and not to love. Yes, we can choose how to leave people, but we still have to exhibit Christ in our lives even if we leave somebody. You understand? We are the example. So even, here's an example. I always say this. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get out. I always say, if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to be the most truthful, honest. I'm going to be a person trying to think about you. I may not be the most, <laughs> I may not be the most gentle person at times, but I'm going to try to be the most understanding. I'm going to try to be the person that understands you. I'm going to ask you questions. I'm going to try to give you what you need. I'm going to think about you. I'm going to consider you. I'm going to ask you questions to consider you, right? I'm going I'm to definitely try to help us walk righteously. And we can't be doing everything that's worldly and all that, right? And that may not, you may not like that. 
But at the end of the day, I'm keeping it real. I'm doing and trying to follow God, but I'm going to be the most honest and I'm going to be truthful. Here's one thing that I consistently say. I'm going to consistently exhibit these things, especially when it comes to truthfulness and having integrity and faithfulness and keeping my word. Because I know even if a woman doesn't like me or has a problem with me, right? Let's just say she does. When we break up, it's going to be hard to find another man who always tells the truth. Another man who's always trying to consider you. Another man who's trying to keep God first. Another man who's extremely faithful. You don't got to worry about him lying. You don't got to worry about him stepping out. You don't got to worry about none of that. It's going to be hard to find that. And it's not that I'm talking about me. It's because I know God's spirit. I know how God is. We are all connected to God because of his ways. And when our ways are in us, that means it's hard to find that in the world. So if I consistently try to be this way and we break up because maybe that person is not fully there or they don't understand whatever it is, or I break up with them, whatever it is, it's still going to be hard to find those things because the world is not that way. Because I was the first to do it. And I don't mean the first for that person, but what I'm trying to say is I was the example of Christ. So now she literally has got to find someone who truly follows Christ. He don't got to be perfect and he don't got to be like me. But what I'm trying to say is she's still going to want those qualities because those qualities protect her, keep her safe. And it makes her feel loved. It makes her feel like she's considered and thought of. She got to find it. It's going to be hard. And I love that God does that. That's how our value goes up. When we follow him, he stands out now. He is the measuring stick. He is the example. So when people leave us, guess what they start thinking about? Those qualities, those characteristics, how you were. But see, it was God's characteristics and qualities inside of you. That can also help them, even if they don't understand, that can cause them to want to change because you cannot find that unless you follow God. Y'all feel me? Do y'all understand? And that's also how you pull people to God when you are the example. When you are the example, now they get to see God in you. This is why you cannot put your emotions first because somebody could be struggling with something and just because they make you feel a way does not mean anything. They can make you feel a way, but they still struggling in the world. They still struggling in their life. So you choose them. You give them grace and mercy and choose to do for them, even though they didn't do for you, because that's what Jesus did. And that's what he would want us to do. And that's how they get to see him inside of us. And you never know. It might it might plant a seed that will cause them to apologize for however they acted, that will cause them to come back to you. This is why you cannot give people energy that they give you. And I'm saying it that way. I don't be saying that energy stuff. But people be like, well, you give me my... If, well, if that's your energy, then I'm going to give you that energy back. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. That's not mature. That's immaturity. You feel me? That is immature. That is not godly. That's not Christ-like. And you're going to have to pay for that. That's a fact. So we keep God first and we be the example. That's what this is all about, all right? This is what it means to be an example. This is how to truly and really be an example of following Christ. We die to ourselves first, to our emotions. We put God first. We hold our tongues first. We be patient first. We be understanding first. We ask God and pray to God first. We take the blame first. We forgive first. We be empathetic first. We be kind first. We choose Jesus first because we love first. All right. Hope this video blessed y'all, man. Please like this video. Share this video. Remember, sign up for the memberships in the description box, y'all. Sign up on the wait list so that I can definitely get y'all them emails when it's time to launch. And check me out with some Kingdom Conversations. If you want to talk again, we're doing one-on-ones. And remember my ebooks down there and the merch coming soon. All right. I love y'all. I'm going to get it to y'all when I get it to y'all.